Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you love this video, you can see more every day by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Watchbox Reviews. I promise to update daily, and I'd really appreciate the gesture if you subscribed. If you love this watch, however, you can see it and buy it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing one of the most charismatic iterations of an existing watch for the 2018 model year. The Seamaster Railmaster was not new for 2018, but this blue denim jeans inspired variant certainly was. One of the standouts, and a watch that does a great deal with very little, it's an inspired design, a timepiece that can easily shift gears simply by changing strap. Now the timepiece is not large, at 40 millimeters in diameter, it's a versatile size. It's a full-size watch without being undersized or oversized. There are two ways to measure the thickness of it, however. It is on a rather large and bolstered NATO-style strap out of denim and leather. So the stack height is 167 millimeters when it's on this strap. The actual thickness of the case, for your reference, other bands, maybe a bracelet, is 12.7 millimeters. So it's not an extra thick watch, nor is it an ultra thin, but the strap does have a great bearing on its height above the wrist. Now lug to lug, it's a 47 millimeter watch, and the spacing between the lugs is 20 millimeters. You will note that the shape and the fit of the watch changes with this strap as I had to gather it around my wrist when I began the video. The strap is one of the highlights of the timepiece, and you can buy it on a bracelet or other straps, but you must get this at least as an accessory when you purchase the watch. First, how much do you love that blue jeans texture? It's an honest portrayal of denim as it comes fresh from the factory. I'm sure it'll have all of the fade and aging and wear, and the gradual emergence of a lived-in character, characteristic of jeans that are well-loved. So it has a little bit of a dynamism to it. You can actually patina your strap for once. Nice, butter-soft calfskin leather for both the underside, the part that touches the wrist, as well as the minder loops, and then a simple satin finish Omega steel pin buckle for easy adjustments. Of course, it does loop underneath the back, a little bit like a bund strap. It adds substantially to the thickness on the wrist, but it is very comfortable, unlike most bund straps. And the use of a gusset to prevent the gouging of the strap is absolutely inspired. The attention to detail is strong with this one. Let's zoom in, afford ourselves a bit more light, and appreciate the case band. It's simple. Uh, friends of Omega Sports watches will recognize the sheer sides of this case, as well as the expanding bevel that flares from the mid-case to the end of the lug. It has a lot in common with the 2017 reimagining and redesign of the Aquaterra family, and you can see that's true right down to the profile of the lugs and the removal of the former shear guards on the case flank. So it's got a lot in common with the Aquaterra, but it's very much its own watch from a design standpoint. And nowhere is that more evident than on the dial. This is where Omega really sells the watch to me, because the attention to detail and the new wants are staggering. First, look at that vertical striation. Notice how within the individual vertical streaks, the satin grain has been mixed with several different tones of blue, everything from cyan to navy, with all tones and colors in between. There's also a little bit of the color of the leather, that saddle brown mixed in, and a few shades thereof. It's absolutely stunning. And again, this is not a watch that ranks in the upper echelon of price. You can get just as much character as high horology for entry-level luxury money with this watch. You have a crosshair style dial nicely balanced with quarter Arabics at 12, 3, 6, and 9. And then you have a railroad track outboard for the minutes and seconds with oversized dart style indices in Luminova. There will be a loom shot. It will be spectacular. With simple pointed baton style hands. This watch is the apotheosis of the notion of less equaling more. Now you turn it all over, and although you can't see the case back, I am going to see if I can dismount this for the sake of science, allowing you to get a glimpse of it. I've done other video reviews of this watch, but I'll also show you how you dismount the strap in the process. It's not a display case back, so I'm not going to go crazy here, but you can see that it features a sort of diamond plate or pyramid embossed pattern along with notation of its immense anti-magnetic qualities and the traditional Seamaster Hippocampus or Seahorse. So it's nicely executed, but you're not going to see a whole lot. They're not covering up the works with the strap, which is one of the reasons I'm totally okay with the application of a full NATO backing in this instance. Inside the case, you get Omega Caliber 
8806, it's automatic, it's a 55 hour power reserve at 25 200 coaxial specific beat rate. The watch is 150 meters water resistant and anti-magnetic to over 15,000 Gauss or 1.5 Tesla. It doesn't max at 15,000, it's beyond 15,000. So one of the few watches that can go head to head with an MRI and come out on top. It has a stop seconds function, it is a coaxial Metaz chronometer. So this 35 joule movement has the George Daniels Metaz or, evolution of the coaxial. Coaxial was the George Daniels tangential contact multi-level escapement and that reduces friction by essentially changing the style of contact between the escape wheel and its impulsing organ and that allows the watch to achieve both impressive gains in precision and longer power reserve. It's one of the reasons this is a 55 hour watch, but the Metas chronometer standard is on top of the coaxial. It is a full watch test, eight different batteries, six position chronometry testing is a full fully assembled watch to the COSC standard and beyond anti-magnetism, winding efficiency, power reserve. Again, all of this as a full watch. Silicon hairspring, free sprung balance, full balance bridge, very tough and anti-magnetic. You can see it, make it yours on the watch box. Seamaster Railmaster.